Hi, I'm your local disabled person who's interested in history, and I'm here to tell you about Governor Morris, our lost disabled founding father. Now, if you're like me, you probably have never heard of this founding father, but he is amazing. Not just because he's disabled as hell, but he did a lot of really cool things in his life. This is a series I'm calling Teach Disability History under my company Claiming Disability LLC. I will make shorter videos because those are the ones that perform well. But if you want more detailed information about him, I have it all laid out on my Instagram. Now, Governor Morris was a fan of the ladies and he actually lost his leg in a carriage accident when he was running away from an irate husband because he was having an affair. So, so Governor Morris is actually credited with creating the line on the Constitution, we the people, he wrote that. He's nicknamed the penman of the Constitution he also gave 173 speeches, more than any of the founding fathers in the um, Constitutional Continental Congress. And he was avidly against slavery. He was one of the only founding fathers at the time who was actively saying, this is wrong, we need to do something, we can't be part of it. Hmm, I wonder why we don't focus on him as a founding father, and but we always focus on Thomas Jefferson. Governor Morris can be credited with creating modern day New York City. He actually created a lot of the infrastructure and the way that we navigate through New York City today. He drew up those plans. Uh, which is a pretty amazing accomplishment. The way New York is laid out is revolutionary for its time. And he was also responsible for the construction of the Erie Canal. So Governor Morris died in a very strange way from a UTI. Um, he got a blockage, no doubt, from uh, having too much fun with the ladies. And he actually tried to insert a whalebone into his penis and he ended up getting an infection and dying from that. 